Um, so I'm going to do um, a pedal curve of an ellipse where the pedal point is the center of the ellipse um, using the mechanism. Um, uh, to the bottom on the left there. So, what is a pedal curve? Well, you, you take a pedal point, you, you start with an original curve, um, you take a, a pedal point, some point rather, um, and you project that point onto the tangent to the original curve. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, and this uh, mechanism will give us the, the pedal of um, an ellipse. Uh, we start with this uh, line AB, and that's going to be a fixed length uh, crank, and that's going the its length is going to be um, A, which will be the uh, semi-major axis of the ellipse. Uh, make that start. And we're going to the point C will turn out to be um, one of the um, foci of the ellipse, and this is going to be so if we make that the square root of a squared minus b squared, and uh, then b of the other axis. So what we're going to create is a perpendicular um, to BC through B. And then we're going to draw, have another crank, uh, which, which is perpendicular to that with a slider um, that lets the length of this line change and the position of D change. Um, however, this slider keeps the, preserves the angle at 90 degrees. And so given this, the curve that we're after is, uh, in fact, the locus of D, as um, we need to drive it with something, like theta theory here. So here's my mechanism doing what it's going to do. And we'll look at the locus of D as theta theories. I'm going to look at that, uh, depending on the different the size of the relative size of B and A that will have um, a different look to it, a bit more pinched. Now, um, so that's the that's the curve traced by D. Um, let's just look at what the uh, the curve equation is. We see it's a fourth order curve, um, these particular coefficients. But we said this was going to be the pedal curve of an ellipse. Now, D is the projection of this point onto this tangent line. So if we look at the entire family of tangent lines, uh, the um, this curve is the pedal of the curve to which this line is tangent. That's the envelope of that curve which we can compute using um, our locus slash envelope tool. Uh, it looks like that. Let me just change the color, which I can do by doing a long press and change the color of that ellipse. Um, well, we haven't shown us an ellipse, that curve. Uh, so now we can see as B moves around, um, the, the line there stays tangent to the purple curve, and then D is the projection of uh, point A onto um, that tangent. Um, well, let's just check to make sure that the purple curve is in fact um, an ellipse. I would say yes, indeed. Um, uh, this is the equation of ellipse with semi-major axes A and B.